Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Joan, the career coach. So today I want us to tackle the question, tell me about your weaknesses. I know this, you know, this question, so many of us, we hate the question. We'd rather not uh, be asked this question. We, most of us don't know how to answer this question. So what we do is we always say, when you ask this question, the only answer that all of us normally give is that I'm a perfectionist and that's it. Um... Sometimes when you understand why the question is being asked, you might be in a better position to answer the question. So let me tell you why some hiring managers or some recruiters are going to ask this question. They really want to know whether you are self-aware and, you know, whether you are an honest person and whether you are dedicated in self-improvement. Because if you are a three, these three things, then you'll be able to give an honest answer about your weaknesses. Please note, I'm not saying that now uh, uh, you, you say something like, uh, so let's, uh, let's say you're applying for an admin position, uh, an office administration position. So in this case, you cannot say that you, you don't like details or like you're not a highly organized person because an office um, an office administrative position requires somebody who who pays attention to detail and it requires somebody who is organized so if i asked you what are your weaknesses and you told me you're not very organized and you don't like details of course i'm not going to hire you for that job so um you need to be honest you need uh to be self aware and you need to sh to demonstrate uh you know you're very intentional about your uh, self Im uh, improvement but of course you cannot say something that would you know would end up shooting yourself in the foot so like for example um you know you you are applying for a training position you cannot say that you you know like you get stage fright or you you're not very comfortable speaking in front of people even if that's true because it's going to you know like disqualify you for the position so just remember the reason why you're being asked this question is because the other person wants to know whether you are honest uh, whether you are aware of your, uh, you know, like, like of your shortcomings and whether you are dedicated to, to improve. So like, for example, uh, you know, I would say something like, you know, my personality is a choleric personality. So I struggle when I'm working with people, you know, who are either phlegmatics or, um, or melancholies, uh, because then, you know, uh, our flags are normally very reserved and very chilled. Uh, my personality normally you know, when, when, when I see something is wrong, I say it there and then, like, I don't sugarcoat it. I just tell you as it is and I move on with my life. But a personality like Flag, they will see, you know, when they, when, when they're upset about something or, you know, something is not working in the organization, they'll keep quiet about it. And then, you know, um, not tell you, then, you know, like one day everything just blows up and then you wonder, like, why didn't you just say, like, from, you know, like from the very beginning, um, so so you see how like cholerics and phlegmatics you know like would clash you know like every uh, uh every other time so i would say like you know one of my weaknesses is that sometimes i tend to be very blunt with my responses i say things as they are and it might end up rubbing other people the wrong way so how am i uh, dedicated to improving this i'm dedicated to improving this by being aware that there are people who process things differently and so i need to be more intentional about how i uh, i handle people who have a different personality than you know than mine um so you know your answer needs to show that you are honest so it you know it, it can't be an answer that you just google like you know uh, an answer like that you're a perfectionist then it, you also need to say how you are dedicated to yeah uh, uh, to improve and then of course just um that you are aware that you know this is a weakness that you have and you are uh there are things that you're doing to make sure that this weakness does not uh, stand in the way of you performing your work so that's all that i had for today i hope this video has been beneficial thank you and see you next time